Mm. Mr. Martinez, his words so emotional, so powerful. Maybe something will change. I say that because Republican Peter King, a congressman in favor of some stricter gun control laws, says the tragedy in California reinforces the need to expand background checks. King, along with other lawmakers, is calling for a review of gun control legislation. It's something Sandy Phillips has been fighting for ever since she lost her daughter, Jessica and the shooting at an Aurora, Colorado movie theater. Sandy joins me now by phone. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning, Carol. How are you today? Oh, I'm just, Mr. Martinez's words were just so emotional. I know you've been in that place. And um, yeah, and every time one of these uh, killings happen, um, it takes you right back to your own phone call, getting the news that your daughter has been taken. And uh, he is, he got it right. He showed, he is showing the frustration of millions of Americans at the NRA and many of our politicians. He's got it right. And we do have to take action. We can no longer sit on the back row and watch it happen time after time after time. Well, you know what uh, people are going to say, some people are going to say, that um, this young man killed three people with a knife. He didn't need a gun to kill. He also tried to run over people with his car. He used whatever yes. weapon was at hand. Yes, but you know, we, we know that with the weapons that he had in his car, that he could have done a lot more damage in a lot shorter amount of time had the, not, had the police not been able to intervene as quickly as they did. So um, that argument is, is really not much of an argument. Uh, you know that the, the Chinese kill, guy that came in and, and stabbed like 22 children and, and none of them died. Um, stabbing has to be done in close quarters. A gun does not. And a gun with the kind of power that he had and the kind of ammunition that he had certainly can take out a lot of people in a very, very short amount of time. We found in Aurora that in 90 seconds, he was able to kill 12 and wound 68. So um, that wouldn't have happened with a knife. Um, you know, when, when I went to work for Brady right after my daughter was died, I, I had the same kind of outrage that Richard Martinez currently has, that we have to do something. And unfortunately, our system moves very, very, very slowly. But there is a momentum now, and he can be a part of that. Um, everyone can be a part of that. You don't have to lose a child to become active in this cause.